Hi, I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm working in Rouen, in Centre Becquerel. And this webinar, I present the validation of the addition modeling in TPS using Delta 4 Phantom Plus. What is our experience with Candidus? In 2008, we bought the first Delta 4 in order to control IMRT and VMA treatments in our departments. In 2016, we replaced Delta 4 with a new version, the Delta 4 Phantom Plus. Compared to the old Phantom, this new Phantom is easier to use because it is wireless and the calibration procedure is simplified. Moreover, stability of the calibration is longer. The oldest Phantom was implemented on the examination system so that it can be used for dynamic treatments. Excuse me. This new equipment allows us to develop QA for stereotactic treatments. And during this period, approximately 1,000 pens were checked with Delta IV solution. In addition, other specific applications have been developed in our departments. Among them, we validate the AAA algorithm on Linux in 2011. In 2014, we evaluated couch attenuation. And in 2016, a specific QA protocol was set up for stereotactic treatments. In 2020, another application was the validation of the action modeling in TPS. What is the benefit of the Delta IV Phantom Plus for this type of application? First, multiple parameters can be acquired simultaneously for various conditions, such as dose profiles, PDD, absolute dose. Then, the time required for the application is limited, about half a day. What are the special features of Alchion? There is no simulation bulb. BIM is an FFF. Collimator is a dual layer multi-leaf without jaw. There is no couch rotation. No measures are required for TPS modeling. The system is installed with golden data inserted into the BIM configuration. Before clinical use, several QA are mandated or recommended. In this webinar, we present our approach to validate TPS beam modeling in the context of standard and complex fields. For standard fields, we analyze various configurations, three square fields with 3, 10, and 20 centimeter sites, fields with simple or double asymmetry, Field flatness legalization, which is the specificity of the Alchion machine, field and field technique were also studied, and finally, the surface obliquity where was analyzed. This corresponds about 10 different fields in the, for this study. For complex fields, we studied the dose distribution relative to 15 patients corresponding to seven different localizations. Among them, we find four female pelvis. Among them, one with a double isocenter, six male pelvis, two lungs, one mediastinum, one hand and neck, and one brain. This corresponds to 39 beams. The LANAG used was an Alcyon version 3.1. The TPS used was Eclipse version 15.6 with a triple A algorithm. And for detectors, we use a Delta IV Phantom Plus and an ABT3 film inserted in a specially modified Delta IV Phantom like this. The particularity of this Phantom, we can analyze the dose vertically or horizontally by placing the film following the different positions. The results were analyzed using the gamma index evaluation. We used a 95% threshold and we obtained this kind of table. What are the results obtained for the standard fields? 
for the free 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 by field free by free fields results show a good agreement between measured and planned dose for PED and for dose profile. For the 10 by 10 fields, results are similar for PDD and for dose profile. Analysis of the dose profile verifies that the field flatness egalization sequence is correctly taken into account by the system and the machine. For the 10 by 20 by 20 fields, we have got also good agreements for the two uh, two figures for the PDD and for the dose profiles. This result shows that the dose, on the dose profile allowed to verify the fit fitness egalization. And also, we can observe the obliquitous fast consideration by the system. Here, we can detect the shape of the Delta IV system. This is a result obtained for asymmetrical field and obliquity. We are also good results. And the results obtained with the fill in film. Uh, this is a profile and the PDD. From a statistical point of view, we represent the frequency of points respecting the gamma index. Four criteria were analyzed 4% 4 mm, 3% 3 mm, 2% 2 mm, 1% 1 mm. Results show for the 10 field configurations studied, the optimal criteria which is 2% 2 mm, if we consider a 95% threshold. The point here, which is out of tolerance, corresponds to detector positioning in the penumbra of the leaves. Now we will focus on complex fields. Here are the results obtained for neck and neck treatments. As previously observed, measured and planned dose are in good agreements. I can show it here. The point are the measured dose and in red the planned dose. For the brain, we obtain the similar results in all profile, vertically and horizontally. And for the pelvis, we have also good profile and good agreement between measure and planning dots. Result obtained for pelvis with two isocenters is particularly interesting because as measured and planning dots are in good agreements along the profile here, we can conclude that the junction area is correctly taken into account by the TPS and by the machine. Here, this is the, the rear area of the junctions. When the profile is low, you can not detect the junction. Now, we have compared Delta IV and EBT3 films results for the same irradiation conditions. As we seen before, this figure represents the frequency of points satisfying the gamma index. Four criteria were analyzed with 4% and 4 mm. Delta IV and films are quite similar, the average value for the frequency being about 100%. With 3% and 3 mm, the two systems are above the threshold. 95%. So then, very good result with 3% and 3 millimeters. With 2% and 2 millimeters, Delta IV gives better results in films. This is, can be explained by the complexity of film manipulation. With 1% and 1 millimeter, results for the two detectors are below the tolerance defined, such as criterium cannot be used clinically. As a result, 3% 3, 3 mm seems to be the good compromise for standard VMA treatments. What are the advantages of the Delta IV Phantom Plus? Firstly, it's less time consuming than other detectors because it allows multiple informations in one, only one irradiation. It's simple to position. 
You can use CBCT for adjusting the position on the action. It's very precise. And it allows a global control. You can check the TPS modelizations, the MU calculations, and so the data transfer via record and verify. There are some drawbacks. The large amount of data acquired can be difficult to analyze. The spatial resolution may be insufficient in some cases. And the phantom geometry differs from the standard conditions. To conclude, this QA is systematically integrated into the commissioning of a new LINAC on treatment technique. It is positioned at the end of the commissioning process and it is the last step before clinical use. Future works, the same QA will be applied for the commissioning of our second Haitians. The objective is to validate that the two Haitians are matching. So we plan to install the HITO solution and Delta 4 will be a solution to control adaptative treatments during the tuning phase. We thank Candidos and his team for their assistance and support. Thank you very much.